Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a beginner balance workout. You don't need any equipment, and I'm going to show you different variations if you are a little bit more advanced. We're going to be doing 40 seconds of each move. We're going to start with this cross crawl. So opposite hand to opposite knee, pause, and come back down. The longer you hold in this position, the tougher it is going to be. So it's up to you how quickly or slowly you want to move. Good. So if this is feeling pretty tough, you can either drop the hand altogether and just focus on the leg raise, or you can bring your knee not quite as high. Good. Nice work. So as we stand, we really want to think about using our glutes and our core, pushing our hips to keep us steady here. Good. Last three, two, and time. All right, we're gonna have 10 seconds of rest. Next one we're gonna be doing is called Rock the Boat, and we're gonna be doing one side for the entire 40 seconds. So what we're gonna be doing is balance on one leg, I'm gonna lean to the side, and then come back to center. So again, the farther you lean, the harder it is going to be. Another way to make it harder is if when you come back to center, you bring that knee up, so you're not gonna tap your foot down. If you want it to be a little easier, put your foot down between reps. Good. So think about moving nice and slowly. Lots of control. And think about opening those chest and shoulders. Good. We've got time for one more on this side. Whew, I'm definitely feeling it. All right, we're gonna do the other side and you might notice a difference between sides and that is totally normal. All right, so reaching out. Good, again, we're using that core, tucking our hips under, squeezing our butt muscles. And back to center, good. Some people like to pick one thing far in the distance that's not moving to help them balance. Some people like to look at something on the floor. Whatever helps you to balance, you go for it. I'm just looking at you guys, which thankfully you're not on my camera, so you're not moving. Good. Last two reps. I'm squeeze in one more. And rest. Good. Okay, next up we are going to be doing the single leg balance. So Option one, foot at the ankle. Option two, at the knee. And option three, totally out in front. We're gonna be holding this for 40 seconds, so if you need to modify your position, uh, go ahead and do it. If you don't wanna make it harder, arms across the chest. And again, just focus on balancing and tucking those hips so you can use your core muscles to help you with your balance. Good, if this is feeling super easy, challenge you to close your eyes. It is way tougher. Uh, and as you can see, <laughs> definitely challenges your balance. So feel free to do that if you're finding it pretty easy. Good, last three, two, and time. Good. So you might notice your standing leg muscle uh, lighting up a little bit, and that's a good thing. It's helping you to balance. It's helping to stabilize you. All right, other side and up. So again, we can come anywhere from close to the ground, touching your leg, to all the way out in front. Good, and the more you practice this, the better and easier it is going to get, which is really cool. And the cool part about balance is you're able to see your progress pretty easily. Nice work, we've got 10 seconds left here. Take some nice deep belly breaths. And rest. Whew. Alrighty, we have got three more exercises to go. Next one is going to be coming up onto our tiptoes. And option one is we're just going to work on some calf raises. So up to the toes, hold, and come back down. Option two is you're coming up on your toes. And then you are squatting down. Hold and then come back up and try and stay on your toes. So whichever option feels good for you. And again, you can come as low as you want. You can do a little bend, a deep bend. <sighs> this is a really good one as well. Good, and if you're feeling tired at any point, feel free to come back to those calf raises. <sighs> they are not easy. Good, we've got three more seconds. Two 
and time. Alrighty, last exercise, we're gonna be doing an assisted kickstand. So you're gonna plant your left foot, prop up your right foot onto your toes, and then we're gonna hinge at the hips, flat back, and come up to stand. If this feels really easy, I'm gonna get you to pick up that back foot. And if you wanna make it really hard, bring the knee all the way up. So you can do whichever variation you want. We really wanna think about sending those hips back and having a flat back. Good. We've got 10 seconds left. You can try to challenge yourself and see if you can even pick that foot up just a little bit. Alrighty, we've got one more side to go and then we're all done. So same thing as the last side, you may notice some differences, that's okay. Do whatever variation feels good for you. All right, so option one again, we've got our kickstand and the less weight you put into this foot, the harder it is going to be. Good, and then if you really want to start to pick up that foot, maybe you extend your leg all the way out and come up to stand. Whew. All right, halfway. Nice work. Your legs are probably burning. That's good. This is fun to do while you watch TV, while you're waiting for your food to cook in the microwave. Alrighty, and that was our last exercise. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys had a good workout and I will see you for the next one.